Today, I am going to show you the final episode on our series of three. It is going to be Thai Tea Fudge Bubble Milk. This is inspired by a market seller, fondly called Ama by most of our customers, making sticky fudge drinks. This is a powdered Thai tea, not very easy to find, but if you do, and if you want to make this drink, you really have to make use of powdered flavor. And we are going to use fresh milk to replace the evaporated milk for those that are wondering if they can use fresh milk instead of evaporated milk. But I'm also going to show you using evaporated milk. Now, in the original versions of this drink, Ama sells this in 32 ounces or one liter cup. But for the purpose of those that are not planning to sell this in 32 ounces or one liter cups, I'm going to show you the versions which are in 16 ounces cups. Because it's going to be a bubble milk drink, then I'm going to use tapioca pearls. And then we are going to make a proportion which is good for one batch. One batch of my proportions today is good for two one liter cups, is good for four 16 ounces cups and it's good for three 20 to 22 ounces cups. If you'd like to make a larger batch then you have to just multiply the proportion that we are going to use today. But because these drinks are not exactly like the amazing ice cocoa where everyone is really craving for those drinks so this is very special only some people might wish to have this drink then I would suggest that you make this in smaller batches even per cup if you can. If it's per cup, all you have to do is to divide the proportion that we are going to make today. Because the density of this powder is heavier, what we need will be 150 grams of this Thai tea powder. And I'm using a local brand of condensed milk here from the Philippines and uh, one can is 300 grams or 300 milliliters. So I'm going to use all of these. I must say it is smelling very good and very orange. So again, make sure they are well combined. Now, if the texture of your powder is very thick, you might have to add a little bit of hot water, but let's find out first if this is good enough without adding any more water, because we'd really like it to be sticky and fudgy. Now, the texture of this condensed milk is not as thick as regular condensed milk like carnation so I think this one is good enough for me I don't have to add any more hot water to make it less thick so with this kind of powder you really want to dissolve it mix it completely you don't want to be biting into undissolved powder okay now this is the perfect texture that I'm looking for and so we are ready to assemble our drinks let's start with our 32 ounces again the pure pearls at the bottom So we're going to fill our cup with ice here. Okay, and then I'm going to use my evaporated milk just to fill it to about half of this cup. Okay, so that's all I have left, so I just put all of it there. You don't need to fill it to the top because you'd like the fudge to meet that evaporated milk there and then I'm going to pour my fudge on top. Okay, now I'm going to stop here because I want to be able to use the remainder for my 16 ounces cups. Okay, that's it for now. And let's put the lid on. And this is our 32 ounces Thai tea fudge bubble milk. So this time I'm going to use fresh milk. Again, just fill it halfway. I'm using a local brand here from the Philippines, Arla. And now I'm going to pour my fudge on top. Well, it seems this one can be up to about at least one more cup. If you want it to be less sweet, you can adjust the amount of fudge that you put per cup.
and you have two 16 ounces and one 32 ounce cup. Okay, now I have to remember this one I used the evaporated milk and this one I used fresh milk. I'm going to try the one that I used the evaporated milk first. The color is amazing. So I would call this amazing Thai tea fudge bubble milk. Okay. Um, wow, it is very, very thick. Quite hard to mix. It doesn't taste like your regular Thai tea. I could taste some sugar there, like crystal sugar. And I suppose the reason for that is that the powder that I use is like a three-in-one powder. So there is a little bit of that sugar, which actually makes it taste good. I don't know. But um, I am a big fan of Thai milk tea and uh, it's just any better than that. It, it's definitely richer. I suppose with that uh, evaporated milk, it tastes just so rich, so creamy. Mm. And the tapioca pearls. Ah, delicious. I am tasting the powder, which is very, very sugary. But it tastes good. <laughs> Both taste equally good. The taste of the one with evaporated milk is definitely creamier, a little bit more uh, rich, but I think you can use fresh milk with this Thai tea fudge bubble milk and uh, no one will know better. So there you go. I, I would say the taste is good. They look absolutely amazing. So there you go. This is amazing Thai tea fudge bubble milk inspired by Grandmaps. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Burrito. Details are now to order in the description box below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. The more subscribers we have, the more people will be able to see my channel and also learn and potentially have their own business. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.